Hey everybody, Ogre here again for Ogre Breaks, doing a little box opening. I got the last three releases of Topps Holiday Baseball. So we have 2020, 2021, and 2022. Topps Holiday Baseball, one of my favorite products. I just find it to be really fun. It's entertaining, in my opinion. I know it's not for everybody. Some cards sell for some okay money, some don't. But um, but first off, before I get uh, into the uh, to, into the opening, I want to say happy holidays to everybody. Um, you know, with today being Christmas, so if you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, uh, whatever it is you may celebrate. Um, just uh, enjoy the holiday with your uh, friends, family, loved ones, and um, you know, hopefully, uh, twenty twenty three will be a nice year. Uh, for everybody as well and so but anyway with that like i said happy holidays everybody i appreciate you guys supporting the channel over the last uh almost two and a half years so big thanks to all you guys and uh you know wish everybody safe and happy holidays so but let's get into it 2022 uh boba shet yoran alvarez randy rosarena uh probably the three biggest rookies um out of this particular product like i said i find the short prints to be really fun i like all the different like uh you know, the candy canes the santa hats the whatever it may be um i just think they're fun chris bryant is our ornament in this one still with the cubs in that particular picture so let's see what we get um should get at least one short print per pack, but most boxes usually tend to get about two. Um, and that's for the last couple of series, uh, this uh, 2020, 2021, and 2022. So we'll see if we get lucky. We got Marcel Ozuna, Fernando Tatis, uh, Trey Mancini, Willie Adams, Will Myers. Usually it's about the fifth card. Uh, Mike Brousseau, Shogo, Matt Stass, Robert Duggar, and Matt Carpenter. So usually nothing crazy. Also, too, we should find two metallic uh, foil cards. And uh, I'm sorry, find five. They come one per two packs is what I, was, what I meant to say. And that's for all three of the series. Uh, Michael Chavis, Carter Keeboom. We do get a Boba Shet rookie. Kyle Garlic, rookie, and our first metallic, Randy Dobniak, Noah Syndergaard, Max Kepler, Suarez, Merrifield, and Ozzy Albies. So happy, got at least the Boba Shett rookie out of the 2020 set. Boba Shett, one of those players that I do like a lot. I know the base holiday cards don't hold much value, but still, I just like them. I do like the little... Uh, Snowflakes and such. But like I said, I know I can understand why this set is not for everybody. We got Pete Alonzo, Rookie Cup. Jorge Soler. Matt Olson. Paul DeYoung. And Nico Horner. Image variation with the uh, little sleeve there. So... It's nice that it's a rookie card at least. Is it a player that I'm personally collecting? No. But Horner, pretty decent player. We got Miguel Cabrera, Garrett Cole, Devers, Sean Murphy, rookie, and Mike Trout. We got Tanaka, Ronnie Rodriguez, Ryan Braun. A Rosario, Shane Bieber, just making sure, uh, okay, Kim is our uh, metallic, Isan Diaz, rookie, Buster Posey, Reese Hoskins, and Max Scherzer. We got Mookie Betts. Danzy Swanson, Jalen Davis. This one has our relic. So let's just save that for the rest of the, for the, end, of the pack, end of the box, at least. And these packs are just opening up all different ways. We got Javier Baez, Trent Grisham, rookie. 
Tim Anderson, John Means, Rookie Cup, Yadier Molina, Metallic, Kim, uh, Dubon, Rivero, Polanco, and uh, Blackman, excuse me. Got Joey Votto, Nick Anderson, Rookie Cup, Ustakis, John Carlos Stan, DJ LeMayu, and we do go another short print, Walker Bueller with the Santa Hat, George Springer, Strasburg, Clevenger, and Keston Hira, Rookie Cup. So I have two short prints, pretty much what you're hoping for. Um, there's definitely some boxes where there's only one. Uh, short print, if I'm not mistaken, out of the 2020 boxes, and I believe they're the same for the other set or other years. Uh, one in seven is your regular short print, and then uh, one in 20 packs are your rare, and then one in, one in 160 packs are your super rares. We got Aaron Bartlett, Manny Machado, Marcus Stroman. Yuri Gurriel Jr. So he just got traded to the Diamondbacks in the Dalton Barshow trade, which was kind of a big, I was kind of shocked with that, but I know the D backs have a crowded outfield. Kevin Kiermeyer and Dubon is our metallic. JD Martinez, AJ Puck, Acuna, and Aquino. Austin Riley, your eyes, Tommy Edmund, Ryan McBoom, Alex Young, uh, Jose Arena, Servino, Hanniger, Odorizzi, and Trey Turner. Uh, this brings us to our last full pack. We do get the Lou Bob, which actually I completely forgot he was in this set, actually. JT Real Muto, Christian Walker. Robinson Cano, Gio Urshela is our metallic, Tucker, Senzel, uh, Willie Castro, Zach Greinke, and Nico Horner, base rookie. Completely forgot Luis Robert was in here. Folks, I was trying to think of update, especially with rookie debuts, but uh, Luis Robert, not a, not a, up, uh, he did not have a rookie update in regular flagship. He only had it in update chrome. So, Griffin Cannon, Gleyber Torres, Max Reed, Albert Alize, Jalen Davis, and our Relic Rays rookie, Mike Purcell. Nice that it's at least the, uh, the dark blue, not just a white napkin, but Mike Purcell, our first Relic. So, all right, let's open up the 2021 next. See what we get. And let's see. Our relic is John Carlos Stan. And let's see what we get pack wise. Decent little rookie class in here. I don't know if there's like one name that's bigger than most, but there's a couple of names I still like, which I'm curious to see what comes of them, in my opinion. But we got Gleyber Torres, Jesus Lazardo, uh, Michael Brantley, Ben Attendi, and we got Colin Moran is our first metallic. And I'm trying to remember too, were some of these turned around last year? I feel like they were. I think certain ones were. Scooball. Joe Adele, Jose Devers, Kershaw, and Devin Williams. Definitely uh, Adele. Um, Scooball had a pretty good year, I think, uh, if I remember correctly. But, uh, Joe Adele, definitely one of those names that uh, haven't quite lived up to the hype. Uh, we got Ryu. Then we got Ben, or I'm sorry, Ryan Jeffers, Chris Paddock, Nathaniel Lau, Gene Segura. Which, like I said, too, I need to double check some of these numbers. Uh, we got Trey Mancini, 
Jose Barrios, Carlos Correa, which I know the Mets now are having some issues with his physical. Uh, Brandon Lau and Eric Hosmer. So nothing too crazy out of that pack. Let's see what we get next pack. We got Nick Gordon, rookie. We got Andrew Vaughn, Matt Olson, Joey Gallo, and then we get a metallic. Adam Wainwright. Then we got Andrew Young, Zach Granke, Braylon Marquez, Caborto Celestino, and all right, Brian Hayes, player I like. I know he hasn't quite lived up to his hype, but still a player I like. Curious to see. Hopefully he has a decent year this year. We got Garrett Cole. We got Miggy. Then we got... Chris Bubik, Shane Bieber, do you get a Bryce Harper, and that one is an image variation, he's wearing the Santa belt, pretty cool, uh, Marcus Stroman, Max Kepler, Corey Bellinger, Hassan Kim rookie, and Trevor Story, so we do get one image variation so far with Bryce Harper, like I said, I know some of the ones for 2021 uh, were not uh, turned around. I think the uh, the regular short print was not turned around, but I believe the rare and super rare were. So, but Bryce Harper, not a bad one there. So, let's see what we got next pack. We got Tyler Stevenson, another name that I personally like. Ryan Mountcastle, Joey Bart. And we got Nelson Cruz. We got Nate Pearson, rookie. Uh, Metallic. He's another one of those pitchers. I know he's had some injury problems. Uh, Debbie Garcia, Freddie Freeman, Jazz Chisholm. Another name that I really personally like. Matt Chapman and Dalton Varsho. Probably the, well, I don't, I don't know if he's the corner piece of that uh, D-backs uh, Blue Jays trade. I know Moreno uh, was one of the top catching prospects. I think he was the Blue Jays' top overall prospect i could be mistaken on that i know he was definitely extremely high on their list if he if he wasn't the top so i don't know um i think that was a pretty crazy trade and uh for both sides in a way of our show great player he had a phenomenal season i i feel like so but gavin lux lorenzo kane dallas keichel andrew uh, andres Jimenez, excuse me one of my favorite players and we got a tatis uh, holding a little uh, Christmas ornament there as he's running the bases. So Tatis image variation. Not as exciting as an image variation, I must say. I kind of like the Santa hat, Santa belt a little bit better. I do like the, the candy cane bats and some of that kind of stuff. But uh, we got Mike Yastrzemski, Justin Upton, Miguel Sano, Corbin Burns, and Blake Snow. So a couple packs still left in the 2021. See what we got. We got Keston here, Mike Bustakis, AJ Puck, Brandon Nimmo, and then we also get a metallic, Bryce Harper, Luis Alexander Bispe, Kyle Seeger, Eloy, Tristan McKenzie, rookie, whoops, and Casey Mize, rookie. So a couple of decent rookie pitchers. Casey Mize, I know he had, I believe he had Tommy John, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, look to see him come back probably later this later this year. Definitely not at the start of the year if he, if, if it was Tommy John. We got Brent Rooker, Salvador Perez, William Contreras, another catching guy that I like personally. That was kind of nuts to see him get traded from the Brewers to the or I'm sorry to the Brewers from the Braves. Zach Gallen. We got a kill Badu. Luis Patino. Uh, Anthony Rendon, Rafael Devers, JT Real Muto, and Jesse Winker. Okay, two packs left in 2021. Got Kevin Kiermaier, Mike Trout, Patrick Wisdom, Jose Altuve, then David Peralta as our metallic, Justin Verlander. Colin Moran, Nate Pearson, Peralta again, and Jack, uh, yes, Jack Flaherty, excuse me. All right, last pack of 2021. 
definitely will be a little bit of a longer video, so I do apologize for that. We got Luis Garcia, rookie. Yair Molina, we do get a relic. We got DeGrom, Dansby, Corey Kluber, Juan Soto, Trey Turner. That's definitely one of those cool photos. And we get a Luis Robert. I'll take it. Black jersey also too, which like I said, that's always how I prefer any of these jersey cards. Give me at least a colored jersey. I don't want a, a white napkin, so to say. So, all right, let's get into the 2022. This product has definitely been really fun this year. We've done some live breaks with it. Um, I've opened up my fair share of it. Um, definitely, you know, as we all know, with any of the 2022 releases, you know who we're chasing. Julio, Bobby Witt, Wander Franco, and our ornament, Aaron Judge. So a couple of Yankees and the ornaments. And let's see. All right, here we go. Pack number one. Yeah, but definitely holiday. Definitely been one of my favorite products. We got Dylan Carlson, Rookie Cup, Marcus Simeon, Ty France, Marcus Stroman, and we do get a Metallic, TJ Friedel, not one of the names I'm particularly looking for. And we got Starling Marte, Ian Happ, TJ Friedel again, Josh Bell, and Blake Snell. We got Jake Berger, rookie, Pete Alonzo, George Kirby, Jordan. We got Juan Soto, which looks like he does have a Christmas. Yep, ends in 19, so that is one of our regular short prints. So we do get a Juan Soto short print. So two Padre short prints in this opening. <laughs> Excuse me. So not too bad. Felix Batista, rookie. Manny Machado, Kevin Smith. Do you get a base wander? And Kyle Bradish, rookie. <coughs> Excuse me. So not too bad. Get at least one of the wanders. I feel like he's one of the guys that I have not been able to pull. Um, at least out of the base set. I did pull one of his image variations uh, in one of the shorts that I did which was nice. I was happy pulling at least one of the Wanders. We got Reed Detmers, Mookie Betts, Richie Placidos, Luis Robert. Then we got Andrew McCutcheon. Yep, ends in 11, so just the regular base. We got DeGrom, Nick Plummer, rookie, Brandon Crawford, Jeremy Pena, rookie, and Bregman. We got Nick Lodolo, rookie. Brian De La Cruz. This one has our relic, so let's let that hang out. Unfortunately, no autographs. Autographs are tough to pull out of this product. I think with all the boxes I've opened in 2020, 2021, and then this year, I'm pretty sure I've only pulled one auto. Um, and it was last year in a video, Tyler Stevenson, which I was happy about personally. But Jack Sawinski, we got Corbin Burns. Adrian Martinez, rookie. Matt Chapman. Josh Bell is our metallic. Bryce Harper. Makata. Castellanos. Nick Allen, rookie. And Garrett Cole. Let's see what we got next pack. Once again, sorry about the video being a little, little longer this time, but a lot of cards to go through. 300 cards in total. We got Vidal Bruja. Tim Anderson. Schwarber. Ernie Clement, rookie. We got Ryu which I don't think is anything there. Cole Sands, rookie. Shane Boz, rookie. Morales, Austin Riley, and Urshela. Next pack, let's see what we get. We got Gavin Sheets, rookie. Eric Hosmer, Matt Verling, Francisco Lindor. Uh, actually, there's an image variation. We got the candy cane sleeve, Joe Musgrove, uh, Metallic, Ian Happ, TJ Friedel, Josh Bell, Blake Snell, and Batista. We're actually getting some duplicates 
in this box, which I only, I've only noticed that in one other box that I've opened up, and I think it was the very first video that I did uh, regarding uh, Holiday. Um, where I think I pulled like three Bobby Witts in the one box. Uh, that ends... I'm trying to see here. That ends in... Looks like 19. So just another base uh, image variation, but it's perfectly fine. Me being a Met fan, pulling Lindor, I'm happy with that. We got Logan Webb, Justin Verlander, Alex Fideo, Reese Hoskins, Montero is our, as a rookie there, uh, Jonathan India, Dansby Swanson, Seth Beer rookie, Taylor Ward, and Cal Raleigh rookie. So, so far, no Wit, no Torkelson, no Julio. I'd like to at least pull one of those three on top of the Wander. Freddie Freeman, Alzacar, Corey Seager, Andre Palante, Blake Snell is our metallic that time around, Tyler Anderson, Molina, Luke Williams, Bichette, and William Woods. Yeah, I mean, it's a 200 card checklist. We're pulling, uh, what, about 92 cards, I think, if you take out the relic, the metallics, and the short prints. So you have, you know, basically a one in two chance of at least pulling a base Julio. But Hanniger, Muziati, we got Francisco Lindor, Gabriel Rice, we got Mountcastle, and we got a Machado. I just want to double check some numbers. Yep, both things end in 11. Kevin Smith. All right, well, we get a double, we get a duplicate of the Wander, so I'll take that. Bradish and DeGrom. So two Wanders, I'll take it. I've actually had a hard time pulling the Wanders uh, this year, so just to kind of bulk up the little Wander PC. Um, but to also to with and also to if any guys not curious curious about how I know uh, this number right here at the very bottom in the black bolt um, base ends in eleven uh, rares end in nineteen super rares end in twenty and then the or regular short print rare short print ends, ends in twenty and then the super rares are in twenty one so that's how you can always check if you can't find anything with the picture. Um, I don't remember the numbers for 2020 and 2021, so sorry, I can't help you that, but go to Cardboard Connection. They will hook you up with those numbers. Um, and then here we are. This one has our Relic. We got Bryson Stott. Not too bad there. Devers. CJ Abrams, rookie. Aaron Judge. Lucas Fox. Brian De La Cruz, rookie. And Diamondbacks. All right, Alex Thomas. I'll take that one. Alex Thomas, definitely take that name. He's one of the he's one of those young players that I personally like. Curious to see how the Diamondbacks start playing uh, with some of the outfield they have now um, with the prospects. Alex Thomas, Corbin Carroll. So it should be exciting to watch them going forward. But with that, um, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Big support. You know, you guys have given this channel such great support. So big thanks to all you guys. Um, once again. I want to wish everybody happy holidays, whatever holiday it is that you celebrate. If it's Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, um, you know, happy new year or uh, happy holidays. And definitely, you know, looking forward to a happy new year. Um, you know, it was, it's been a great release for sports this year. I just wish the quality was, you know, a little bit better on some of the tops products this year. So hopefully next year will bring us a little bit more, you know, quality control with, uh, tops, but, uh, I mean, update series, as we all know, is a big rough, you know, a little bit of a bust, I think, with the quality control. But but like I said, Ho Tops Holiday, one of my favorite products. I have a lot of fun opening it. I like the relics, um, you know, the Santa Hat relics that you could pull, which unfortunately I haven't even pulled any of those this year. Last two years I've pulled at least one of each, but um, no luck with those this year at all. But the short prints, like I said, they're just fun in my opinion. We had the Walker Buehler, Nico Horner out of 2020. The uh, Bryce Harper with the Santa Belt and the Tatis with the Ornament out of 2021. And then the Lindor and the Soto out of 2022. So, like I said, I'm a big fan of them. I think they're just fun. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think about holiday baseball. I always like to hear from you guys. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Um, I figured I'd open up a box of each, you know, with today being Christmas. So, but... Uh, like I said, I always like to hear from you guys. If you're new to the channel, greatly appreciate if you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get notified of my future uploads. And with that, once again, happy holidays, everybody. Um, and I want to thank you guys for watching. Have a great night.